Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Fly Tip in your iPhone tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool double exposure effect using a picture of a wave and a picture of a face. Okay, let's get into it. So, what we've got here is the finished article and I'll talk you through the stages that I used to make it. Okay, what we need to do is just go to the layers menu. I'll hide the layers so we've just got a blank background. We then imported a picture of some waves I turned it round by 90 degrees so that it is vertically arranged. Um, then I found a picture of a face. A black and white one works best for this. Okay, so there's my face on top of the waves. So you can see the waves and you can see the face. To make it work the most effective way and the easiest way, what I did was I copied the layer that was the background. So I go to the little image next to the dustbin and copied the layer. That's made a new layer. I go to, sorry, I go to layer menu and I go to duplicate layer. And then I will then go to the layer and arrange that layer above, bring it forward so that it's now above the face. On this layer, I'm going to make it 50% opacity so I can see where the image is Obviously, I can move it around to get the exact right place for it. I've spent a little bit of time arranging it where I want it beforehand. And then it is simply a question of erasing out the pieces that I don't want, as you can see from the one I've done already. And there you go. That's it. It's really straightforward. Obviously, it takes a bit of time to do the erasing. And once you've erased the bits that you don't want on the layer, you can then um, put it back. I'll show you how to do that, actually. So you see it in real time. So there's my layer. I go to the eraser tool. I then start to erase bits that we don't want. And um, I can make the eraser a bit bigger. And remember to leave the pieces that I do want. The nice thing about having it semi see for at the moment is I can see exactly where the hairline, etc. is so that you know, some people like to leave it semi-see-through it's whatever works for you really um, for me I find that if I do the erasing well there we go, a bit like that or there. then I go back to the layer menu and I change the opacity back to 100% and there it is there. I think I need to do a little bit more around where the ear is. Move some of this a little bit here. Okay, and it looks like the wave is the hair. Okay, have fun experimenting with this technique. Obviously, with all these double exposure images, it's a question of having the right two images in the right place at the right time. So that takes probably more time choosing the right pictures than actually making the image itself. But there you go, that's the double exposure with the eraser tool, two layers, really simple stuff. There are many different ways you can do it as well as this, but this is the way that works for me at the moment. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have, obviously give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers and um, look forward to seeing you another time for some more tutorials. Okay, and goodbye.